At six, as many as 15% of all American adults have trouble hearing, and by age 65, one in three of us will have hearing loss. Hearing aids help amplify the sound, but they're not perfect. Ursula Perry with a new hearing device and how a local organization is working so that everyone will be able to hear. At the theater or inside busy restaurants, like a growing number of people, 68-year-old Alan Bergstein struggled. I couldn't hear conversations at all. It's like people were mouthing things, but all I heard in the back room was other people talking or noise or whatever. For more than a decade, he wore hearing aids. They amplified the conversation, but the background noise got louder too. When you put them on, it's like putting on the world's worst PA system in your ear. Now we're going to make the mold. Ear, nose and throat specialist Dr. Seth Oranger offers a new device to patients called the ear lens. Doctors insert a small piece, much like a contact lens, inside the ear canal. A molded light tip fits inside the ear. It communicates with a sound processor on the outside. When the processor picks up sound, the lens vibrates and sends the sound to the eardrum. The difference with ear lens is that it covers a much larger bandwidth than traditional hearing aids, so it allows them to hear the much higher frequencies than compared to a traditional hearing aid. For example, traditional hearing aids sound like this. The ear lens sounds like this. It makes sound much crisper and allows them to do much better hearing, especially in noisy environments. Like most hearing aids, the ear lens is not covered by insurance. And like most hearing aids, it's expensive. This one will cost you $16,000. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.